guys, Jonathan Games here today with another Minecraft video, and today we're gonna do another mod review, but today it's actually a mod pack, so last time I showed you the Club Penguin mod, which was actually not a mod, but yeah, so this mod pack, it has um, obviously like the Forge stuff and then the Furniture mod, uh, Minimap, Backpack, Chat Bubbles, Craft Guide, Custom NPCs, Flower Craft, um, plants, more flowers, and Pixelmon. So this is, um, it's called the NF Family. It's, oops, single player. It's, um, not, it's like a mod pack this one guy made. Which is, it's a really cool one. So I can show you guys how to install this after the video. I'll have, um, like, on the description where each tutorial starts at. So I'll have, um, just this, which is the mod review. And this map review. Um, and, uh, at the very end, I'll show you how to install it. So this map, it was made by, if it says here, um, Lorraine Rodriguez, Lorraine Rodriguez, and it's actually a Pixelmon map, and these guys are super annoying. Okay. So now, I'm gonna show you guys around. So if I just put a button here, um, actually, this is Pallet Town over here and there's some Pokemon and stuff so I guess I'll just show you um, the map review first because it's kinda cool so it just goes on and on that's the trail to get to one town and Pokemon I believe there's like all the Pokemon in the whole game here so that's kind of a cool thing and is that turkey? hi turkey so here's Professor Oak's laboratory. You don't have to go there to get your Pokemon. Like, um, let's say you log in um, for the first time on the server or something. It will say, would you like to download the, or like, would you, what Pokemon would you like to start out with? And then you get to choose one. So yeah. And now I'm going to show you over to the next town. So I just have it set up by a button. This is Veridin, Veridin Town. And I don't know why this isn't working, but we'll just do something like that. Or, um, control A, control C, we'll just do this. Control V. It's kind of glitchy, but that's just because I'm retarded. So here's the next town. This is Veridin Town. So this town, it's sort of like more futuristic, I guess you could say, from all the other towns. It's sort of, I guess, um pretty or some I don't know it just it looks more like high tech so this is like the main city town I guess yeah and it's pretty cool there's a pokey center which like if you want to make a server for this and you're a map maker or something you could totally fix this up to make it actually work with the mod installed so that's what's super cool about this like if someone made a server out of this it'd be so fun like I'd play it all the time, I guess. So here, like, yeah, you can do stuff with the thing. And I actually have a squirrel right here that can pick up and throw down. So, yeah, I'll, I'll explain more about that in the mod review. So all the the maps are awesome like this. Like, they're all super nice and amazing. So here, let me just copy this. And then if I do that. So this is another town this is um let me just check pewter so this is another town i'm not going to show you all the towns because there are let's see i have this little list so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten towns and they're coming out with two more so that's too much to show in like my videos because i like to keep them short and simple so if you hear this music it's just beautiful and also the texture pack I'm using is the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll put it on really quick. If I can find it, it's ac it actually it's called it's called the Sortex. It's the Sortex one. Yeah. If it would load here. Okay, there. So this is the Pokemon texture pack. Uh-huh. 
so everything looks better now. Yeah. This is actually for the mod, it's not for the map, but it's it goes together pretty well. So this is uh the town, yeah. Pewter or was it was it it was pewter, yeah. So it the only town that's not like sorta of like this theme is Pallet Town, but it's still pretty cool. And yeah, so if you guys want to check this out, I'll have the map pack in the description. So I'm just going to do kill and then we'll go over to s this area and I'll show you the mod. So obviously there's Pixelmon, the normal goody goodies. And then here is the furniture mod. This is actually a really fun mod. I don't know if you're like just looking to build something. I don't know what that is. That's cool though, I guess. Um, Yeah, so you could totally just waste time and do a ton of fun stuff with this you can actually turn on the TV or I guess that's the, that's the newer version but they have a newer version where you can turn on the TV and stuff um yeah and then here's flower craft so they have a ton of bushes and stuff which is cool like if you guys like farming and stuff that's something you'd love flowers this is actually something really cool cuz they're pretty and stuff I guess so NPCs, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know where the NPC village is, but they have. Um, here, I can actually do this. NPCs have weapons and stuff if they're spawned correctly. These guys were already here in like before, but if I get a villager egg, that's my villager. Villager. I'm pretty sure that I haven't tested this out, but I'm pretty sure that some of them will spawn with. Yeah, so you see how they're, like, with armor? That's with the new mod. And then, if I'm to give them... I'm pretty sure I can give them this. Can I kill them with it? Just die, man. Okay, that sword is absolutely useless. Just don't mess around with that mod. I don't even know why they put it in there. So, yeah, we're gonna go back in here, and then I'm gonna show you the other mods. Um... Custom NPC armor. This is actually really cool. Cow, you want to be a cow? I'm sure a lot of you would want to be a cow. Yeah, so stuff like that. Oh, this is just. If you guys don't know, I love Naruto. So when I see these shurikens, kunais, more kunais, giant shuriken, I go crazy. Dude, it's just sick. Who wouldn't want to throw kunais at people? Giant shurikens and tiny shurikens but the bigger ones the bigger the better that sounds wrong but i don't care and then here is um the um, this is actually this is what's the cool part about the npc mod There's violins and stuff I, that looks like i'm trying to shoot someone but it's actually a violin by Enjo. chicken sword let's go kill someone with this um so yeah the moon looks pretty tonight. It's full moon. I can't kill you because you're a ghost. Alright, so then there are Pokeballs. So, let me find it. If you guys don't know, the Master Ball is the best. The Premier Ball, I think, is basically the same thing as a normal Pokeball, except it's pretty. If I can find it. Here's the Master Ball. Come here, buddy. Yeah, so now I have a Ghastly. You should wait for him to shake, and then he'll turn into your Pokemon. So now I have a ghastly. If it's not gonna be retarded, do I need to set up my Pokemon? Get him, Squirtle. Okay. So um, you can like rearrange it. So there's a whole, there's a ton of new controls. So I'm not really used to them yet. So if you do the left bracket, which I believe is, it's like, yeah. So if you press this button, you can send choose which one to send out um but i like my squirtle because he's so cute and then so that's basically the pokeballs if you guys don't know what they are i recommend just go play the pokemon game if you haven't played it you have no life no i'm not i'm just kidding it's really cool though so there are all these badges and this map doesn't have like actual um trainers but if you were to set up a map with these guys it'd be so fun not even kidding like you have to I don't know, earn a badge or someone, something by like killing someone. I don't know, that'd be cool. There's like a lot of things that could be cool with this. And then here's the healing stuff. 
So if I get out a ton of rare candies and I check out my little, my little cutie, and I just feed him a ton of rare candies, I can just totally jack him up for sugar and stuff. And he learned water gun, so now I get to, I don't like, no, no, I, I don't like tail whip. So now I learned a new move and stuff. So that's what rare candies do. And the rest are just healing from like burns and stuff. Um, so these are Pokemon stuff, I believe. Yeah, so berries, and you can make berry stuff. Berry, berries, ores, yeah. Thunderstone, like to evolve Pikachu. Okay, that's, and then held items. So there's an Everstone, Lucky Egg. I don't know what that does. XP share, that's really cool. So let's say. You're trying to level up. Let's say I'm trying to level up my Squirtle with my Ghastly. I give Squirtle the XP share. And he'll get XP from one of my Ghastly kills things. So yeah. And then here's a TM and HM. Which is pretty cool. So yeah. And I think that might be about it. But why don't we go battle someone? I mean, we haven't done that. Let's see. Let's battle. Let's battle. We need to battle a fire type because we have a water type that's good. So these all over here are bug types. And then bug type, bug type. What the? Mareep. It's ugly. So S skink is like poison. If you guys don't know, I, I used to play Pokemon like crazy. I was a Pokemon fanatic. Just, I, I like Minecraft better than Pokemon. But I mean, it was a fun game when I was younger. But it's really cool. I recommend y'all. Y'all. Yeah, I'll go try it out. Yeah, so we're just trying to find a fire type. Oh, here we go. Here's Ponya. Eponia or something. No, it's a Zelda. It's like Ponya. P oh, Ponya. Ponya. So we're going to fight him. And we're going to use... Bubble is weaker, but we're going to see exactly what it does. And is, am I getting... Okay, Squirtle used Bubble on Pony. It's super effective. And now we're going to try a Water Gun. Pony used Tail Whip. Squirtle's defense was used now. Okay. Um, and now we're going to finish him off with the Tackle. Woo! So now we our Squirtle went up and we killed someone. So this is a Vulpex. It's an evolution of the Pokemon Eve. I'm surprised you remember that, but yeah. And well, that this is really cool. So this map, I'm just, it's so awesome. I'll post a link in the description. It takes a really long time to download all this stuff, but it's definitely worth it. Like for me, it took me about 30 minutes to just download both the things. And why are you upside down? I bet you're just retarded like me. All right, so I think we're gonna call an episode here. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. I'm not positive. Also, um, I forgot to mention, I have a new intro for my 300 subscriber thing um i just stole it off one of my fr friend friends it's a youtuber his name is rabid coyote so yeah you guys should go subscribe to him i have a link to his channel in my old my other video thing so yeah if you guys want to check that out and there's the most useless pokemon right there magikarp so yeah and um i think that's it so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see my next mod review, hopefully. I, I thought this was a fun idea to do, like, a mod review, because I haven't done any of those. And, yeah, those guys are really fat. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Alright, so after that, I'm going to just show you how to install this. So um, once you download it, I'll have the link in the description. Here's the file to the Kanto. This is the map, by the way, so how to get the map in here you just want to go percent app data percent so if you don't want to do that then i'm sure you will now and then just go into saves right here and then just drag it in so i'm just gonna drag it in it might take a while for you to do that but it's pretty quick it takes like literally five seconds and while we're waiting for that actually we can't do it but here's the whole list of all the towns and stuff so there's a lot of new stuff that'll be out so that's kind of cool so now that we're done with that we can just close that down and now i'm going to show you how to install the actual mod so leave the percent after percent thing open and then i don't have this out but it's called nfm family 
MF Pixelman. Pick, 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 pick someone. <laughs> so I didn't actually make this mod pack, but these other guys did. So yeah, go check out the stuff in it. It's pretty cool. So there's a complete instruction list, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Um, so just open up the dot minecraft thing inside the folder and just copy all that stuff and then just drag it in so let me just get into my backup you might you might want to make a backup first but you don't need to do that it doesn't really mess up anything and i recommend deleting the servers dot dat you don't have to but just do it because it, it'll delete all your servers if you don't so yeah and then what you want to do is just copy all this stuff just highlight it all and move it right in there into your dot minecraft and it's super easy to install you just if it has something that you want it wants you to overwrite just just go with it and then do that yeah so there's 596 things it needs to overwrite and there so now it's overwritten and now that it's like that all you need to do let me just check yeah it's good it's good all you need to do after that is just launch your minecraft and then I noticed that it's signed into a different account when it logs in. So just just don't go into this one, but um go to new profile and then click let's see. Let's just I'm just gonna name it NF mod pack. And then just find a forge. It's one point eight point seven one point eight seven one. So you just wanna click the save profile button, click play. And then everything should work. And if it doesn't, just comment. And I'll help you guys out. It's not a big deal if it doesn't work. And let's just see if it works. Yeah. So there's Mojang with Soltex Fanver. It comes with the texture pack, which is actually, it's a really cool texture pack. And it's good for Pixelmon. And with that map pack, you're ready to play Pixelmon. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.